problem I've ran into and a problem that you might find yourself in as well is since technology is constantly improving, whether it be a new laptop or a new game console generation, what do we do with our old technology? We can't just throw it away because frankly that would be a waste of money, not to mention toxic metals found inside most devices would be potentially catastrophic if left in our landfills. So we recycle and this $10 product from Sabrent can help you turn your old hard drives and solid state drives into new external drives and help reuse your old tech. More on that after the intro. Before I get into the video, here are the timestamps, so if you want to skip to a specific part in the video, then you know where to go. And you don't have to waste a bunch of time on things you don't want to listen to. All right, so this little device right here is a Sabrent 2.5 inch SATA to USB 3.0 hard drive enclosure, and it only cost me 10 bucks. SATA stands for Serial ATA, and all you need to know is this is the interface most drives use to connect to a computer. The unboxing experience wasn't even that bad for a $10 product. As I proceed to open the box the wrong way and drop all the cables and literature, the enclosure sits in a foam tray to protect it in shipping. Included is a quick start guide telling you how to install and set up a hard drive, but I'm going to show you how quick and easy this is in a bit. Next is the male to male USB-A cable, which I think is interesting because all other drives I've had use some variation of either a micro USB port or a mini USB port. However, I kind of like the cable the Sabrent uses because it seems less fragile if the connector is under any sort of strain. The cable itself is more thick in diameter than any other hard drive cable I've had, so I don't think it will fray or break anytime soon. Finally, we get to the enclosure, which is pretty straightforward. The top cover slides off to reveal a SATA port on the inside, a USB connector, plus a on-off switch on the outside. On the top sits an activity LED that flashes a nice blue when being used. I'd like to mention this product comes with a free copy of Acronis True Image for Sabrent, which is a utility that lets you make backups and disk images, which only seems available on Windows. Bummer. But if you're a Mac user, you can use Time Machine anyway, which I like a lot more. 2.5 inch hard drives like this one used to be really popular in laptops before the movement to SSDs took over. That being said, any laptop being sold today with a hard drive, or even a PS4, Xbox One, or PS3, all use 2.5 inch hard drives. Old desktops most likely use 3.5 inch hard drives, which obviously don't fit into this case. I'm not going to show you how to get the hard drive from your devices here, but there are loads of good guides on YouTube, and it is pretty straightforward. You can install any 2.5 inch drive into this enclosure with no tools, which I think is awesome. Awesome. It's as simple as sliding up the SATA connectors on the drive and the enclosure and sliding it into place. There's a piece of foam behind the drive to keep it secure, although I found that if you shake the drive, it is still prone to wiggle around a bit. So I added the piece of foam that was sitting in the drive when I unboxed it to help give it even more padding and it seems to have worked. This is probably the most confusing part about this whole thing, but it's still not that bad. If you want to use a drive that came from an old system and wipe it clean, then that's actually pretty simple. Use either Disk Management if you're on Windows or Disk Utility if you're on Mac to totally erase the drive and format it. There are lots of different kinds of formats, but NTFS, APFS, and XFAT are all popular. NTFS is Windows only, APFS is Mac only, and XFAT is a format both operating systems can read and write to. If you want to keep all the data on the drive from an old Windows PC, for example, chances are it's formatted in NTFS and you're going to have to connect to it to another Windows system. However, programs like NTFS for Mac exist that let Max read and write to NTFS drives. Disk Utility and File Explorer will tell you the format of your drive if you don't know what it is. Since hard drives are physical spinning disks and are much slower than SSDs, they come nowhere near to maxing out the potential bandwidth of this enclosure. Even with the Samsung 850 EVO SSD in there, I was getting the full performance of the drive around 500 megabytes read-write. Say a 3 goes up to 600 megabytes per second and USB 3.0 goes up to 640 megabytes per second, so that means some seriously fast transfer speeds. For comparison, I was getting around 100 megabytes per second read-write for my 1TB Western Digital Blue Slim hard drive. For 10 bucks, I think this product is awesome. You're able to recycle some old technology to make it more useful, such as making a uh, hard drive backup for your computer, or just using it to store whatever you need to. If you guys want to buy this, there will be an Amazon link in the description that is an affiliate link, so if you want to help us out, you can shop using that link as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in our next video.